This video is for the Accounting Chapter 12, Lesson 4, Work Together Problem out of our Century 21 Accounting Textbook by Gilbertson, Lehman, and Gentine, Edition 10E. So credit to them for the book and this problem. So what we're going to do is prepare payroll checks and use the payroll register from Work Together 12-3, which I'll bring up when we need it. And the working papers contain one blank general account check, which is here. And then two payroll account checks, which will be down here and here on the next tabs. And then pri three prior period pay stubs for each employee, which you'll see at the top of each of those sheets. And I'm going to guide you through this example. So we're going to prepare number one the general account check for the pay period ended July 15th, which I already typed here for you. And then uh, the description, we're just gonna go ahead and type um, July 15th, 2020, whatever year it is, payroll. And our amount, this is uh, where we go back to our previous lesson. Here is our chapter 12 lesson three work together. And the amount we need to send is this total for all of the employees of net pay. So that's the amount we've got to pay, 1,933.32. So we'll go ahead and put that in here. 1,933.32. And it is in dollars, good. So now down here, we're gonna fill in the date again. So July, 15th, 20, we're actually pretending to write the check now in the amount of 1933.32. This might be handwritten. Um, it might be an online transfer that you do between accounts. I don't know. But we're going to pretend as it's a real check that we're handwriting right now. And we would write out the number that we're paying. 1,933 dollars and 32 100 and when I write it out I always write a line all the way to dollar so that no one can add to what the amount is I'm saying that we're going to pay and so then the pay to the order of this is going to go to our payroll account so it's at First Community Bank just like this account is payroll account and then you would just go ahead and write their address and I probably should have gave you one more line for this but 320 North Dean Road Auburn Alabama 86830 I'm just taking this right off of up here that's their address and then you would sign this I'm gonna write my name you should write your name and we are done with part one to prepare the general account check. So this will be paying our payroll fund so we have the money to spend in that fund. Okay, so part two. And if you need to look at the instructions, um, they are on page 368 of your textbook. So you can go ahead and use those. I am going to start here. See, this is our prior period pay stub up above and now we need to for employee Edward P. Johnson we'll go ahead and fill that out and the date is July 15th we've got to figure his gross pay so that is just going to be equals 88 88 hours times his rate of $15 an hour, 1,320. And then we'll just let it autofill. Well, no, I didn't. So we'll do five hours of overtime times his time and a half rate, which is $22.50, is $112.50 gross pay. So does this look familiar? I think we can fill in his tax amount, social security, and all of that from last, um, last lesson. So let's just, I'll try to bring those up side by side for you. 
Okay, so now you can see I have the 12-3 work together that we did in the last lesson. So we have all of our numbers for Edward Johnson and Janice Nelson, our two pretend employees here. So we'll continue to fill out um, this pay stub. Our year to or current total earnings would be this number, regular pay plus the overtime pay, 1432. And um, I don't want this suggested autofill. Our year to date total earnings, you would need to add that to your year to date total earnings from the previous month plus your current month. So you should be at 18,650.50. And now his <clears throat> federal income tax was, we are on the top line here, $61 currently. And then Social Security was 88.82, if you can see that following along. Medicare, we calculated at $20.77. Uh, health insurance for both employees was $60. And um, you can't quite see it, but their retirement plan was $15, I believe. So there's that. You can equal sum. of these deductions here, 245.59 is the right amount. It ties out to our last lesson. And so our net pay is just gonna be equals your current earnings minus your de total deductions here, 1,186.91. And you cannot quite see it, but yep, there it was, right? Okay, so now our year to date is gonna be a formula like, actually, yeah, we'll just go back to big screen here. A formula like equals your year to date from the previous plus your new current 583. And I think you should just be able to copy that and then Highlight these cells, right click, paste special formula only, and it should just continue to give you what you want. So for example, um, Medicare tax, it'd be year to date from the previous month plus this current amount. And so I believe that should be correct, 583.11.56. Yes, those all look good to me. And now we will do a total on that. So an equal sum, again, click and drag through those. 29.84.77 is what he has had deducted from his paycheck so far. And um, the total net pay would be equals your year-to-date total earnings minus your year-to-date deductions, 15.665.73. He's gonna to wanna to kinda of keep track of how much he's been paid. Okay, so now we're just gonna scroll down on this screen and fill out this check for the date of July 15th, 2020, year, who knows? And the name is to Edward P. Johnson. And the amount we're paying him is Um, 1,186.91, so remember his net pay is what he gets. He wouldn't get his gross pay because he doesn't get all of those deducted amounts. He gets whatever his pay was, his earnings, minus all of the deductions. So now we'll just type that number in, 1,100. $86.91 one hundredths, meaning cents, 
And I always like to fill that line in so no one can add to it. Uh -huh. And then you would just go ahead and put your name. I'm gonna put my name, you put your name. And there we have filled out the one paycheck. Now let's do the other one. Similar to the last one, our gross pay is this amount um, times, star key, the rate, 80 hours times 11.50. And we should just be able to drag that down. Good. And then our tax rates. Here's where I got to go site before I do that. Current earnings is the regular plus the overtime pay. And year-to-date total would just be equals the year-to-date total from the previous period plus her current earnings here and 12, eight, um, 844.25. So now we're just going to bring over her taxes. We're on Janice. So she has 76 federal income, 60, 25 of Social Security. Again, I'm just right over here. 1409 of Medicare and 60 of health insurance and 15 of retirement. So now we'll um, scroll over a little so we can see it. Year to date would just be the previous year to date amount plus the new amount. And if we control C, copy that and Case special, the formulas, we should get those to auto generate for us. So make sure that's all in dollars and looks nice. We'll total this with a sum function. And we could total that with a sum function, or we could just drag our little plus sign mouse over. Ooh, undo. That went down. I didn't want it to go down. I wanted it to go over. There we go. 29 25 59 she's had taken out of her paycheck so far so net pay um, we can go back to big screen here i think we don't need that anymore her current earnings minus the deductions from the current would be 746 41 and then net pay year to date would be year-to-date earnings minus year-to-date deductions, 99.18.66. And now we're just gonna scroll down a little bit to fill out our paycheck. Again, the date and pay to the order of um, this one was Janice E. Nelson. I don't think we filled her name out up here either. And the amount of the check, you can either just click on it as her net pay, 746.41, or you can type that in hard-coded. Um, then you would write out 746 dollars and 41 one hundreds 41 cents and sign your name I believe we have done everything that our problem asked us to do now we'll just double check complete payroll checks sign your name as the manager of duties fashions which we did and oh, record the two payroll check numbers in the payroll register. So um, these check numbers were 261 and 262. So what we would actually do is now go back to your key for 12-3 work together. That's mine. Yours will just say 12-3 work together. And you would put in the check numbers. So if you haven't submitted that yet, you can do that. I probably won't take off points if you didn't, but that would be where those check numbers would go. So that is it for this problem. That's good because I'm out of time.
So I'll dash four work together right here. 